Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing another fun deck that I've decided to bring to my channel for a long time already. And it's gonna be a Mortar Cemetery deck. So this deck was very fun to play in uh, 2018 and we're bringing it back because why not? We can, essentially, that's, that's the whole reasoning. So. I shouldn't probably bank Gunner here, but at the same time, well, he's just giving me a free value in terms of this Bomberman, so just let's go in with the Cemetery. He's gonna donate me a Bomb Skeleton here, and Skeletons will still deal some damage. Not gonna lie, I expected more, so I would say very clean defense from my opponent, but <clears throat> I don't think it, would, it will matter in the long run, as, yeah... These players unfortunately are bound to make mistakes and there's the first mistake allowing my mortar to get a lot of value, stopping the bomb blasters and forcing a response which, well, didn't come. Usually when I say that something requires a response, I kinda expect a player to respond to my threat, but if he doesn't block the mortar, those are free shots I'm gonna take every single day of my life. So, I'm gonna play Footman Cake and Cemetery so I can just create a double lane pressure. He's gonna respond with Stone Phones to this Cemetery, which is very fine response. And actually, I'm surprised because he's not playing that bad. So, yeah, he, I'm gonna just play Swordsman here, try to clean these Stone Phones. I'm gonna actually play my Stone Phones uh, to add some DPS. To that defense very kind very helpful here and he actually will use bullets against my mortar which i don't think is okay it, it is enough to stop the second hit so all in all i think very clean defense on his part i'm gonna cycle can wheel in the back there's no reason why not to and i'm gonna just play gunner because right now yeah i was sensing that play from a mile away he's gonna be playing bomb scout with that and unfortunately bomberman locks on my gunner which is well, to say the least, unfortunate move, but at the same time, we kinda can live with that. Uh, that's that's not a biggest threat, Jedi, in the recent century. We're gonna be playing Can we are here, getting rid of these archers. I could have obviously played a poison on this Bomberman, but like I said, there's no reason to. Uh, he's just giving me value other ways. I'm gonna play Swordsman here, deal with that push right like that. I think that's gonna be all in all clean defense and even my gunner... Uh, okay, she, she's gonna get a scratch but... Other than that, my gunner will get out of this defense unscratched. And he's gonna be playing actually a very... I don't know if that was accident or purposeful but Bomberman blocked my gunner from crossing the bridge so... The symmetry was well deal dealt uh, by the stone phones, but unfortunately my can will defeated Bomberman and he didn't calculate it what to play against that. GG, well played, let's jump to the next game of the video. And right now we're gonna be playing against this 400 player, I've played him today, he's... I, I don't recall what deck he was playing, but it looks like he is playing right now, Ice Tiny and Blitz, so it still can be pretty much anything at this point. He's playing also Digger, which is, well, very strange composition, but we're gonna elaborate on that. I believe he was playing, okay, he, he's playing some weird stuff. Not sure if I like that, but uh, anyway, we're gonna be uh, playing some Boomerang. I'm gonna just play Mortar against this Bomb Girl, hope to get some value, and here we go. Okay, so... I recall what he was playing right now, he was playing very weird Viking and Dark Knight deck, so we're gonna have to be playing against that, and very weird stuff, Dark Knight doesn't jump onto my stone phones, probably because he was played on the outside, and if he's playing played at the outside, he cannot be kited uh, towards the inside if I play my swarms uh, one tile on the opposite side, don't, don't you worry, those are like technically uh, usually in your game you won't be having these troubles i'm just trying to get a bit greedy testing and other interactions in case they will come out to be even more uh, beneficial for a player so he's only playing actually a digger against my mortar i don't think it's a bad play because all in all it's a good trade for him 
uh, at the same time we're gonna get a very good trade against this viking because obviously he spent a 10 mana against that and we spent 6 and we still have a live gunner so that was a very nice thing to have I've, I have a feeling he's gonna be playing Dark Knight on this he's, he's playing Bomber so I should have supported with Swordsman but then I think he would play Dark Knight so you see that's the kind of rock paper scissors we're playing here I'm gonna play just Mortar he's playing Dark Knight actually right now I'm gonna play Gunner here just to get rid of his digger and he's playing poison which is very concerning pick in this matchup I'm gonna obviously try to clean it up very nicely he's gonna be playing shield skellies which is well fine response I guess I'm gonna right now play swordsman try to bait something out and okay he's not playing anything against my swordsman he's very cautious right now which I think is a good trait in a player I'm gonna just try to play something against this digger so that my mortar will survive I'm gonna protect this can wheel actually because I know that good can wheel can be very annoying to deal with I'm gonna right now play it cemetery because I don't think he has the best responses at hand he after all played the shelled skeletons but first my cemetery dealt a lot of damage right now I'm gonna just play can wheel there's no reason not to and also if this dark knight okay this dark knight didn't kill the can wheel but if it did, this can wheel would turn into like the most alpha building of existence. So right now I'm gonna just play a swordsman and a cemetery. He's gonna be actually trying to protect everything here. I'm gonna get a very good cemetery on the opposite side. He has to address that and yet he still takes a lot of damage. So that was definitely a good move out from us. He overextended on this mortar and that's why we're gonna play another mortar because it looks like his deck doesn't have a good response against that card. We're gonna play uh, Stonefalls here. I don't think this is the time where we want to just trade, we want to get the damage because... Okay, m mortar connects. <laughs> that, that was pretty clutch here. So, he actually sensed that the game is ending and went just full damage mode no trades just full damage and it definitely paid off because this game was closer than i anticipated but yeah mortar cemetery definitely strong against like a double tank deck and right now we're gonna get a mysterious mind who appears to have 100 mils i don't think this is the highest that he had but we're not gonna elaborate too much on that i'm gonna just try to defend his little pressure here with some unorthodox defense for the reason that i didn't have a swordsman in my first hand which is well very unfortunate unfortunately i'll have to play mortar in a very uncomfy position like this i would love to kite these twins even more but it wasn't the case my own can wheel was just blocking it so yeah it kind of sucks i will allow this piercing archer to lock on my gunner so okay. <clears throat> so he can get a very good cyclone so right now i'm gonna just play footman kick against this fifth and somehow get away with this very cheap defense so he spent a lot on that offense and i think it is a good time to attack soon he's actually I believe he actually played these twins at zero, so he will not have anything to cover for that shot. And I think I will just suck this, uh, this footman's head because, well, there's no reason uh, why should I overcommit, except like I, I could have. I'm gonna just play can wheel in the back, see what's cooking. Uh, he's gonna be playing ghost, which is fine response. I'm gonna just play stone phones, adding some pressure. Let's see what's gonna happen next. He's gonna play Piercing Archer and for that I'm gonna just play Gunner because I could have poisoned it. Definitely it could have been a good move but at the same time I'm kinda trying to get some uh, greedy values. And okay he's gonna get another very annoying Cyclone and by annoying I mean like okay he's gonna absolutely not engage into this mortar which was obviously a good decision i'm gonna actually 
make some room for my mortar to connect because right now it's on the tower. But the thing I was saying is that okay, he's gonna be having a piercing archer. Very annoying things right now. He's gonna even get a cyclone here. He still gets a lock because my swordsman is, well, kind of dumb if I were to say myself. I would love to kill this thief. And my mortar actually gets a lock. Very cool to see. I'm gonna try to kill these thieves before, before they connect. And a piercing archer. Very good value. And unfortunately my can will die. So, yeah. You get some, you lose some. Nothing to be worried about. I'm gonna play another mortar. I'm gonna right now just apply some pressure with stone phones. Try to get the best value of my trades. I will actually pro okay, I, I won't be protecting my mortar and wow that was very close. I thought that it's gonna connect but it didn't, so very fortunate for me. Right now I have just many troops on the board and if he doesn't clean them up properly, I'm gonna be having just a prime position to just attack. He's gonna be playing Viking though and right now he okay he didn't use the opportunity to play piercing archer even though I think he should. I'm gonna just play I would love to protect this gunner, but I didn't. And right now I'm gonna just play Cemetery because, well, first of all, why not? And second of all, it's pretty much the end of the game, so we kinda are fighting over this last damage we can get, and that was definitely the game. So, I was pretty wondering why didn't he defend this last cemetery properly it was barely with a tank because like knight swordsman died in two seconds but either way very cool game to see obviously i didn't realize till the very late that playing mortars against a piercing archer isn't a good idea and that kind of gave him a backdoor into this game i usually play uh, like mortars uh, to distract my opponent from the objective and it kind of splits his forces but it doesn't work against piercing archer because piercing archer just pulls the ultimate uno reverse card on this strategy and just goes for your tower and deals more damage than the mortar does so yeah all in all i think very cool game to play and we're gonna go for the another one and it looks like we're gonna get mysterious mind once again so i'm gonna just play Footman Keck, nothing to be worried just yet, I'm gonna just play Swordsman, basic stuff. I would be very surprised if he were to play a Piercing Archer on that, but I cannot also completely exclude that from the list of possibilities. I'm gonna absolutely counter these twins, 4 for 4, not a bad trade if I say so. I'm gonna play Stonefalls and he's just going for the Viking in the back, which is... Very annoying play to uh, get hit with, but at the same time I pretty much cannot punish it, so we can just basically play cards and uh, he's going for a piercing arm. He's going for it. And I think that was actually a very cool move from him, because I still have to respond to that. And Ghost, obviously, that's the thing you don't want to see. Ghost on exactly 1 HP and just shredding through my tower. I'm gonna actually suck this gunner there's no reason why should i okay he's he's saying oops maybe anticipating that i would have protected it but at the same time i don't care he doesn't have piercing archer in hand so i might as well just go for a for a mortar i'm gonna play another can wheel so i can get a easy cleanup and unfortunately one of the footmen will split up into the uncomfy spot so yeah that was unfortunate i'm gonna play cemetery anyway uh, just to well make him very uncomfortable with his defense and unfortunately can will isn't tanking for the cemetery anymore so it would not give a lot of value so i'm 800 damage down but i think the situation is still fine because i obviously still can come back to that i'm gonna play gunner in the back he's gonna be playing twins in the back and against that i think the mortar on the opposite side will be the best response these twins definitely should turn and there they are i'm gonna right now play a 
Footman Kek to delete this piercing arch and I didn't well. His cyclones are just very cool today. Uh, I'm gonna play Mortar here. This piercing archer, by the way, getting like the infinite value as always. I'm gonna just get rid of it with a mortar. Gonna play can wheel here. Gonna see what's gonna cook over here. So I'm gonna just try to go in. There's no reason why not to. I'm gonna. Oh no! Oh no! This tragedy has struck. I've activated the Viking Tower. This may be the end. I wanted to delete the piercing archer, but the viking activation is on the board, so pretty much no symmetry damage from me in this game anymore. We're gonna try to obviously get some other damage, for instance we get a one shot from the mortar here, we're gonna cancel this ghost, obviously he's even getting like very bold piercing archers because he knows I pretty much cannot punish him with cemeteries. He even plays bullets at the bridge. Very bad situation for me. Oh, I cannot believe I've activated the Viking Tower, but yeah, that's that's very bad. And he plays Viking at the bridge just to just to make sure nothing happens. Very bad situation for me. He plays cycle like ah. Had I not activated this Viking Tower, I think this position would have been playable, but right now he basically has to do nothing and he still wins. There we go. Uh, very annoying stuff. But they well played by him that he used the opportunity. And unfortunately, this matchup is very annoying because, uh, well, he, he basically uh, can always spam the cards at the bridge and not allow me to attack ever. So yeah, very well played for him and unfortunately we'll be losing that one. Let's hop to the net. Probably the last game of this video. And we're in the last game of the video against username 782. If I recall correctly, he was playing Dark Knight and here it is. I'm gonna actually have a hard time defending this skeleton keg. I think my only play is to just poison this. Very unfortunate hand. No mortar in hand. No four footman keg. I could have cycled to mortar, but I kind of wanted to preserve my mana. So, yeah. He goes easy. Um, as expected. A very, very bad opening hand from me, but at the same time, like, there's no... There's no way how to fix this. I'm gonna just play Swordsman in the back, hope to intercept this T-Rex. I'm gonna right now just delete this uh, Bomb Girl. Try to get this T-Rex as well. Will it cross? Okay, it, it will cross the bridge. Okay, very fine. I was, f I was scared of that. It won't and uh, I would have to... Okay, he he's playing another Dark Knight. Very annoying stuff, but at the same time I think I can deal with that this time way better. Okay, unfortunately I don't have Viking Tower activated and this... Ah, uh, that's, that's gonna be annoying. Ah, uh, that's gonna be annoying. Alright, so we're back. I mean, we're behind. In another game we'll have to just come back real quick. Or real slow. Depending on uh, how you look at it, I'm gonna play a gunner here and he's playing bomber like There are just some cards in this game that are very annoying to deal with bomb girl is just one of them I obviously could have just poisoned her, but it's not the way I play I'm gonna play stone phones and force out his uh, response and he's playing darkly in the back So I'm gonna just play can wheel even right now I'm gonna, gonna get back some damage, which is very cool to see. I'm gonna play Mortar here. And this Mortar, yeah, I wouldn't say we'll get a value against this Dark Knight, but at the same time it gets some damage. He's playing Cyclone, which is very bizarre move to play, because my can wheel will survive. And I think with this very healthy counter push, I'm gonna just go for the opposite side, go for the Cemetery, and right now he... okay. He absolutely dealt with two sides, very embarrassing to see because I thought right now I'm just going to get my bailout and I'm gonna get absolutely all my damage back, but looks like it's not the case. I'm go He's going for another cycle, which is very annoying play, like it's, it's not good by any means. That was a bad play though, so right now I'm gonna just play Mortar defensively, get these two Bomb Girls. One down, second one to go, Mortar should be locked on any second now, and there we go. So I'm gonna just play Can Wheel in the back, 
await his attack. There's no reason what to overreact. I'm gonna just play Swordsman here. And right now I think... Uh, okay, he, unfortunately the Skeleton Keck will skip the... We'll skip the mortar, so we'll have to supplement our defense with another one. Nothing to be worried though. We're gonna play footman keg here actually. And right now I think I'm gonna just follow it up with another attack. It's pretty much the only shot I have in this game. He actually responds very incorrectly because this cemetery right now will get a ton of value. And if I manage to hold this push of... I don't even have to hold this push, this cemetery absolutely decimated his tower, so I was pretty ready for that defense, but even if I wasn't, this uh, damage was pretty much irreversible for him and pretty much sealed the deal of the game, so very cool ending to today's uh, episode, very close game obviously, and yeah, I think I'm gonna just wrap this video here today. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoy this Boom Arena gameplay of mine and the content I'm producing, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, as a reminder, maybe check out my YouTube shorts that I'm pretty much posting daily as well as my normal length videos. And yeah, that's gonna be it from me today. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.